Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman, and I'm finally at home. I'm finally at a place that I can color my hair. We have been to Rome today. We have uh, we got to eat in a restaurant in Rome today, and my brother got to eat with us. And so now I'm back at home, and I have a couple of hours before it's supper time. So, I thought, I'm trying to see how I should talk to y'all the best. I'm actually letting y'all look in the mirror just like you were with me right here. Okay, so you're looking in the mirror with me. And so you can see the camera. So, if it was reversed, it should be right side, you know, like the right side now. Because you're looking with me. Well, anyway, you're going to see what I see. And we are going to color my hair. I'm going to show y'all what I use and why I use it. Now, I've colored my hair when I was young, I had beautiful red hair like Amy. And then the older I got, the more it turned into an auburn color. And so, um, of course, then after I had kids, it got more like a just a, a brownish auburn color. It's a lot like the color of maize. And so, since I was about 24, 20, uh, probably about 24, 25, I started coloring my hair. So, um... Today, I'm going to color my hair. I guess I should be talking to... I can't decide. I think you guys can see me better at that angle. So, anyway, let's see. If I went straight, how how could I make this so that it looks like I'm talking to y'all? Try to get the angle right on the camera. My head's like that. I might want to put y'all on the left side of me because I'm right-handed. Let's try that right quick before we start good. I don't do this every day. I'm not a beauty YouTuber. <laughs> I'm not a beauty YouTuber. Y'all just give me a second. How's that? That's a little better. Now, um, I know the camera's kind of right there staring at you, but so am I. So, how about it? Now, this is my little bag of tricks. I used to be a Mary Kay consultant, so I have a nice bag with uh, lots of pockets, okay? And I like to use what is called uh, One and Only, and it's an Oregon uh, oil hair color, okay? It's called One and Only. Now, if I show you this this way, it's going to be backwards, so um, I'm just going to tell you it's Oregon oil, One and Only. Now, this one, the color is a medium chocolate brown. It is a 4HC. I actually mixed two colors together. I got me a little bowl right here. Um, I use a developer that is a 20 volume. You can use a 10 volume, but I like to use a 20. Um, and I typically shake it up if I've got one. Here's a 20 volume developer that is from some old L'Oreal color that I had. So I could I could actually use this really easy as well. Um, so they usually have about two, let's see how many, the bottle don't really tell you how much. Let me see. About two ounces of developers, what you usually use. Um, and then I have permanent color um, that is in my favorite color. It's an excellence cream. It is a 6R, which is a red. Um, L'Oreal makes the prettiest reds if you want to go red. And they look natural red. Not, you know, like this burgundy color or nothing crazy. Um, let's see what else I got in here. I've got some hair color from my sister that I never, she brought me. And that I never put on her hair. So, let's see what I got in tubes that I haven't used. Because here's my tubes. Okay, I've got a... What, baby? You may cut the seven off or... I was going to put the pie in there. You just slide it in there? I got it on a low temperature. I've got a 7RG, so that's a red. Okay. And I've got a... 4C, which is a brown, and I believe those are the two I mixed last time. I mix them. I just use a red and a brown together, and then it just turns out really pretty. This is a 4CH, 
And then I've got some more some more reds, the six R's, six R's. So, I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, but what I like to do is mix some red and some brown together, okay? And I just started doing that mainly because I think I look good with darker hair because my eyes are so dark. And so that's when I started doing that. This is a 4CH. That's what I used last time. I use the 4CH with the uh, 7R. So what we're going to do is we are going to, I'm going to show you in my bowl what we're going to do here. And I'm going to take about two ounces of developer and pour into my bowl. And I usually measure it with one of these. Matter of fact, I really like to use these as my applicators, and I'll tell you why, because I like the lids on them, if I've got a good lid. Let me see if i got one. Save one. Lord, and if I didn't, I'm going to be so mad. The only one I got is this. I like to have the one that has like a comb. It's easier to put on, but we'll use it. I really like to use a bottle. Let's use a bottle. All right, so we're gonna do set a couple of ounces of this. And then I'm going to do This is the brown. So I put in about a good two ounces of brown. Y'all were probably thinking, girl, you got guts. Because I don't, this is good color. It's really shiny. It makes really, it's really pretty on your hair. Um, it's not going to damage it or nothing. This is the red going in. We're going to do the same thing with the red. That I did with that. I may even add one more ounce of developer because I think I got just a little bit extra hair color in here. I kind of go a third, a third, a third. That makes sense. I'll shake it down and we'll see how much hair color is in here first. So I'm going to put the lid on it. First, I'm just going to knock it on the counter and we'll see how many ounces is in this bottle. I've got two, four, five. That's about right. So I'm just going to shake it up and um, use it. Use it, girls. I'm going to add a little bit more developer in it because I've got a lot of hair and I just want to make sure i got enough. Kind of like mixing a potion on Halloween. <laughs> I didn't even think of that till now. I'm mixing a potion, y'all. All right, so now we're going to mix it up. And that takes a minute. Now, this color is creamy. It is not liquid. A lot of colors that you buy are like liquid. I'm going to show you one because I'm never going to use it because I hate it. I hate the liquid colors. And I'm going to show you how thin they are. I'm just going to pour it down the sink show you. Here's one in a bottle that I bought. It's a dark auburn. But when I seen it was a liquid, I didn't use it. Now, I could look at theirs. Their developer looks like it's probably two to one. Close to two, close to two to one or something. I'm not too worried about it though. Watch this now. I want y'all to look how thin this is. Now, if I had to color my hair with this, watch. Can you see that? If I had to color my hair with that, even once you mix it with the developer, it would be so runny and such a mess. 
I just, I don't think I would enjoy using it at all because I don't want color that drips down my neck. I'm gonna rinse this down the sink. And it stinks too. I don't like that. I don't know where I picked that up at. Maybe a yard, I don't really know. But anyway, let's shake this up. Lord, I need to do my nails terribly. This is really hard to shake up, y'all. All the developer wants to come to the top and just bubble up. Go back down in that bottle, you turkey. And it's not even close to being full. We're gonna go this way with it. Now, I've never been to school to be no hairdresser or nothing. I just don't think it's a rocket scientist kind of thing. Not saying that, you know, I'm just, I like to do things myself and save money. I've always been that way since I was a young kid. So if I can do it, why pay somebody to do it? I cut my own hair. Most of the time I use my own scissors to cut my own hair and everything. I'm weird. I'm just not a high maintenance woman, y'all. I'm just not. That is just not mixing up to my expectations. Lord of mercy, maybe putting it in the bigger bottle wasn't the smartest thing to do. It's almost there. I'm just making sure that the color's in it good, okay? This is the this is the longest thing. Now then you gotta let it develop for 45 minutes. I'm gonna talk to y'all for a minute once I start doing that. And then I'll come back once I mix it. So what I do typically is I mix it up, I clean up my mess if I've made a mess, you know, in the sink or whatever. Get it off the uh, countertop and all of that. I'll get it over here on the wall. So wipe it up, okay? Always make sure you wear old clothes when you do color. Always. Don't put on nothing nice. I got on one of Chris's old t-shirts. And it's better, really, if you can use a button-up shirt. But all of our button-up shirts are nice and ironed and all that. And I can't use a button-up shirt. But if you got an old flannel shirt or something, it's better to use that. Okay? Now, I am going to uh, do my hair in sections. But the first thing I do is I start with my roots. And I'm going to take my hair down. I've got a big clip in it. And then I got these two little clips. And then the first thing I do is I brush it, of course. And most people do not comb their color through their hair, but I do every time. Now, if you got one, and I do. I like to put a cape on. Let me get a cape. I say I do, if I can find it. There it is. If you're wondering why, where I got, I think I got this cape in a hair kit that I bought Chris, because Chris cuts his on there too. So um, I'm gonna put me on a hair cape. And that way I can walk in the kitchen and do chores while I wait on it to develop, okay? All right, first thing I do is I put on a pair of gloves. They're behind me. And most kits, if you buy color from the store, like if you get the L'Oreal preference, will have a little set of gloves in the box, of course. Do you know that when I met Chris, uh, Chris's mother and sister always paid to get their hair color and when they met me and they figured out that I colored my own hair um, they got the guts to start doing it to save their money and uh, I don't know if they always do it anymore but I know they did for a while but if you color it I'm a, I do a couple of things that most beauticians don't do and that is I comb mine through my hair because I've always had longer hair so I start, of course, with the bottle. You shake it down in here. And you're gonna, you know, put it at the root. And I just go ahead and I just start squeezing it. 
about every quarter inch or so. And I go from front to back squeezing it. And I don't really, you know, move my hair or anything. I just use that pointer and squeeze it with the same force. And I do my whole entire head this way before I start rubbing it in. I'm probably really loud in this bathroom. It probably echoes. I'm sorry. I'll just turn your volume down. People are always saying, Tandy, you're so loud. And I'm like, well, turn your volume down. You got a volume button? Okay, so that gets the front part of my roots already. Now, all I'm going to do is flip my hair over. And what, what's so crazy is in a salon, they get out their little brush and they brush it. And then they... And then they brush it. And it takes them forever. Now I'm going to flip my hair over. And I'm going to do the roots on the back. The same way I did the roots on the front. I'm just going to take it and squeeze it with the same amount of force. Going from back to the middle of my scalp. And I'm going to put a little extra in this. Because i got plenty of color. Make sure you get around the edges of your hairline if you want to put your hair up in a ponytail. Okay? Now you're going to take your gloves. It's all over my hair. It's all over my scalp. And you're just going to massage it into the scalp. All that color. Now, if you feel like you know, you got more in one spot than another, or one spot don't have enough, then go back and squeeze some on it. Like the back is good and saturated, I can tell with my fingers. But the front, not so much. So we'll add some, just a minute. So I do this first, and I don't scratch it like I'm trying to wash my hair. I just rub it with the tips of my fingers, okay? So let's do this again a little bit up here. Get a little extra. And then we're going to start doing the long part. Okay, when I do my hair, I just start like I've got all the roots and I've got them pretty good. So now I'll just start squirting it like so. Oh, I just got that on my face. I cannot believe I did that. I've never done that before. Probably because I'm trying to look up at the camera with y'all. Don't want it in my eye. I've got real long eyelashes and they catch everything. Okay, so I'm going to brush this like this. And that's why I wear a cape because I know that, you know, I'm going to squirt some somewhere I'm not supposed to, more than likely. But you're just going to do a real good job. You're going to flip it over. And just keep squirting. The applicators that I like the best are not these single applicators. I make an applicator that looks kind of like a comb. I like it better. I need to go by the beauty supply and get me another one. I must have thrown mine away by accident when I was in a hurry one day or something. So I need to do that. So I'm going to turn over and do this. Really, at this point, I'll quit doing it this way because it's a pain in the butt and it takes forever. I'm just going to put some color on my hands. Squeeze it out of the bottle. Rub it on my hands. And that would make a lot more sense, as much hair as i got. And I'll start doing that. So, I don't do, I don't even color my hair politically correct. I don't do nothing really politically correct. Do what I want. All right, so I got a ton of hair color, and I'm just going to saturate my hair with it. 
then we're gonna comb through it. Nobody does that either, but I love to. If you comb your hair color through your hair, if you actually take a comb, not a, not a fine comb, but a comb, and you comb your hair color through your hair, nobody can tell that you did a bad job coloring your hair because it's gonna be beautiful, okay? Make sure you get the edges where you're grayest the most with plenty of color. Like mine is here. All my gray grows right there in my sideburns. And I'm 50, but I'm a redhead. And redheads, lots of times, don't turn gray as fast as other people. Um, we get gray, it just takes a little longer, okay? Don't, don't think we don't, but. Now I'm gonna comb this through, and then if I need to apply extra, I have it. And then I'll show you what I do to my eyebrows as well. Especially if you're older and you're missing a few, your eyebrows, and you have to paint them on every day, or your eyebrows are really blonde, and they don't have much color, and you want them to, you could put a little color on them with a toothbrush is what I use. Or you can use a brow brush, either one, okay? I'm gonna put a little of this on the back of my hairline, and then I'm gonna start brushing it through. It is so rainy outside, and such a mess today. And the trick-or-treaters are going to freeze. It's supposed to get down into the 30s tonight. We're in Georgia, y'all. And it's supposed to get down into the 30s tonight. I take a fine-tooth comb. Not a fine-tooth, Lord. Um, I don't even know what you call this thing. But you know, we used it in the 80s to, to, to make our curls big. You know, because we all had pearls. And I comb my color through my hair from from root to end, all the way around. And this way, I don't miss spots, and some spots aren't colored, and some spots are. You can see I brush it through the end, just like that. And the good thing about doing this, y'all, is if you're missing a spot, it's gonna show up when you do this. And it's gonna get combed through and it's gonna get some color on it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side sitting down. I usually part it when I do it. Now you see why I wanna wear a cape. Now, I'll be honest with y'all, if I went on video, lots of times I color my hair not completely nude, but in the nude at the top. And that way, I don't have to take off any of my clothes. I don't get anything dirty. It don't matter if I splatter some on my leg or, you know, behind me I can clean it up with a magic eraser. But um, that way, after the 45 minutes, I just, you know, can stay clear of the front door and don't answer the door if somebody knocks on it. And then all you do is take your cape off and hop in the shower to rinse it off. And see, now I had to do this for you guys. So now I gotta take this t-shirt and pull it over my hair before I can rinse my, get a shower. I'm not rinsing my hair in the kitchen and I'm not rinsing my hair over the tub because I'm not young anymore and it's harder on me. So I get in the shower to rinse my hair, okay? Um, I just can't physically um, handle bending over that sink to get to do that. I don't like to do that. I used to have a hernia and every time I bent over it would just about kill me and it would spasm and they fixed it. So that's not what bothers me the most anymore but it's still not real comfortable. You can tell on my um, part that all that's not got color on it right there. Make sure that you get the top part really, really well. Go ahead and just part it a couple of times Make sure that it's on your scalp good because if you part your hair, you want it to, you know, look really pretty. Why don't I just drop that in the floor? How many of 
me your turkey. <clears throat> now I gotta wipe this up. Okay. And make sure you got enough in your parts, okay? That looks good. And I probably got some people that do hair on here, and they're probably saying that that woman's crazy. But I'm going to tell you, my hair always looks great. My color always looks great. My hair looks great. I use Pantene shampoo. Everything else makes my head itch. Everything. I've tried. It don't matter what I try. It don't matter how much it costs. It makes my head itch. But if I use Pantene, my head don't itch. I've got real sensitive skin. I use a special kind of soap to wash with. That doesn't bother me and aggravate me. I'll show it to y'all if y'all want to see it. Because we're about to develop my hair. I'm just going to put some extra on it because I can. I got it in the bottle. We're going to do my eyebrows. And I'll show you my soap. I just like to get lots around the edges in case I want to put my hair in a ponytail. Which I always do. Y'all know that. So we're going to pull it up on my head. And clip it. And always make sure if you go to the beauty supply store, you get you a cape and you get you a few clips. Okay? They don't cost a lot. Not near as much as it costs to go get your hair done. Now, I will admit, um, I've got to take these off. Well, I'll take off, I'll take off this one and get a clip. Because I don't want to get hair color in my bag. Do I need a clip for my hair? Where's my clip at? Oh, I'm looking on the wrong side. I gotta clip up this back part. this right here and I will clean up my mess and I will do my eyebrows and then I'll show you all my soap wash your hands real good wash your arms real good from where you've reached back on the back of your hair and then I'm gonna show you what I do around my face while it's developing I'm gonna put my tape right here. Let me hang right there for me for a second. Okay. I'll go ahead and do my eyebrows and then we will, I'm, I'm gonna use an older toothbrush. I keep them in my drawer because I clean with them. You should always have a toothbrush to clean with somewhere. Um, clean your under, under your nails and clean the furniture to make it pretty. I used to do that for my mama and I just loved it. Okay, I put some hair color on this and I'm going to brush my eyebrows. Yes, I am. Do they tell you not to do this? Of course they do. So, if y'all do this, you do it at your own risk and don't think you can come back and get onto me or sue me or nothing, okay? Been doing it since I was in my 20s. Okay, now I've got purple eyebrows. Now what I do is I take this special soap I told you I use. Let me get it out and I'll show you the box. But I'm gonna get some out of the shower. To clean around my face. And the extra around your eyebrows you gotta wipe off. So my soap that I use on a daily basis and I've been using it since I was a young woman 
Um, it was recommended to me by a dermatologist, and it's called Basis, B-A-S-I-S. -S. You can get it on Amazon.com, and you can get it at Walmart. You can get it at Walgreens and places like that, but you're going to pay more money for it, okay? It is completely scent-free. When I say scent-free, it is scent-free. When you take it out of the bo box, it doesn't smell like soap. Like a lot of the scent-free soaps smell like soap. This one is wonderful. I started getting this when I was a younger woman and I quit getting yeast infections all the time. I can get a yeast infection so easy by just using scented toilet paper and perfumes and soaps and shampoos and body washes. So I've never been able to be blessed and be able to uh, lather in a bubble bath with a wonderfully smelly, you know, I can't do that. If I do, I pay for it. So I started using this and um, all that went away and I don't I don't have that problem anymore. And I'll be honest with y'all, y'all know how real I am on this show. This is how I am. Let me go get me a couple of Q-tips to clean up my eyebrows. So when you do your eyebrows, make sure that you um, clean them up a little bit. I'm going to turn this around and let y'all see me up close. Don't get too scared. It's Halloween. It's Halloween-y. Okay, so you can see my eyebrows. Now, I cannot see without a magnifying mirror, period. Not up close anymore. So I'm going to take my magnifying mirror and I'm going to clean up my mess I've made. So I'm just going to make sure that this is on my eyebrows, but then I'm going to take these Q-tips and I'm going to get the excess off of my eyes. Make sure when you do this, you're doing it by the sink so you can throw all the stuff in the sink. And then up here is some extra and you can just wipe it off. You don't want to, to stain your skin you only want to stain your eyebrows. And if you leave this on for 45 minutes and you don't clean them up, it's very possible that when you get finished, you will have stained your skin as well. And I mean, it would go away in a couple of days, but you know, you don't want, you don't want to look too scary when you go out. But now I have seen women that color their hair Seriously, and I'll see them at the store and they still got hair color on the sides of their face or behind their ear and you know what I'm talking about. Now look girls, if you're going to color your hair or guys, guys do it too. Take the time to clean yourself up. If you have to be like me and you're old and you can't see, get you a magnifying mirror and clean yourself up. Uh, don't walk around and so everybody can see. Oh my gosh, that lady colored her hair. And don't halfway color your hair. Take you a nice comb and run through it and get the color distributed evenly so that when you get finished, you look like you've walked out of a salon. Okay? Trust me, everybody would be like, woo, you look beautiful. All right, so I'm going to clean up my face too. We're going to do that right quick. I bought some makeup, y'all. It is terrible. I'm going to show it to y'all. I had on makeup because we went somewhere today. So, you can see I put on my gold and orange today. I wore a black shirt. And I wore my orange jewelry for Halloween. I feel so sorry for the kids tonight. All right. I know a lot of y'all don't like Halloween. But, my goodness, you know, it's still fun for them. I mean, who don't want to go out and get candy? All right, I've got cookies I need to go in there and do for y'all live. I think I might do that too. All right, so then I take a wash rag, put some soap on it, and go around the edges of your face with the soap. And no, I'm not going to rinse the soap off until I get in the shower. But if you don't use the soap, the color is not going to come off your skin. Y'all going to see how pink I look. See, look at that. See that? It 
and I usually just rotate my rag as I go. I just don't really change the rag. I just keep moving my fingers and getting new soap. Um, I'm going to start doing some crazy videos like how to make up your bed, how to wash dishes. And you probably think, why? You would be surprised how many kids have never watched a parent or a grandparent do daily chores around the house. And when you give them something to do, it's not that they don't want to do it. They truly have no earthly idea how. And you think it would be common sense. Make sure you wash your ear good. Wash it on the inside and the outside. And wash around your hairline on the bottom. As you go. Um, anyway, I'm going to do this other side without 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 the mirror because I know what I'm doing. Um, anyway, I was going to tell y'all that one time Chris was at work and this kid had gotten in trouble in the lunchroom. So Chris tells him he has to mop and help clean up the mess he made. And the kid had no... He said at first he thought he was being a smart aleck. And then he figured out the kid had no earthly idea how to use that mop. He really didn't know. Now, y'all, I got this earring put in my ear right here to keep me from having migraines, and it ain't done one thing for me, so do not fall for that. And let me tell you, it hurts so bad. About I'm not kidding. I've been through a lot of stuff pain-wise. It hurt. It hurt. It hurt so bad that when I went to walk out, I got dizzy and lightheaded, and I said, am I, feel, am I supposed to feel like I'm going to throw up? And my husband went, you're about to pass out. You better sit down. And, you know, I had it ain't been that long since I had that done. And it does not. It hadn't helped me a bit. Word to the wise. Okay? Well, y'all got a close-up shot, didn't you? Too close-up. I'm going to show you this makeup I don't like. So y'all don't just spend no money and buy none. I, I buy makeup all the time. I do. I'm a sucker for it. I love it. I love... And what's so weird is I don't even wear it that much. I, you know, I'm not the kind of woman that has to have it on the go somewhere. Um, but I still like to buy it. Same way with jewelry. I like to buy it, but I don't always wear it. Um, let me rinse my rag out. And there's a couple of spots that I'm going to get, and I don't know why, and you may have the same problem, but... Um, I have a place on my forehead that never wants to take the color. Never. And so, I'll show you where it is. Right there. So, I always, once I clean up, I'll get my brush, my toothbrush, and go around the edges. I'm pretty picky with it. I do a good job with my color. I've never been one to do something halfway, if you know what I mean. There's another word for it. I'm not supposed to say that word. I know one thing my parents always did. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Okay. That's it. 45 full minutes at least on your hair. Now let me show y'all this makeup. <sighs> I'm going to get it down today and blow it dry and then I'll come back home and roll it like I did last time and show it to y'all and look pretty. I used to get up every day when I went to school. Y'all, I did this. If you've not watched my, my thing, I'm sure you probably have if you're watching this. But if you've not watched my, the thing where it says that I testify about my younger days well I was married really really young and I would get up milk cows and stuff and I still put my hair in hot rollers before I went to high school I was in high school I did okay makeup I bought this the other day it is Maybelline I'm gonna put my glasses on because I can wash them I'm just not gonna let them get on the hair color on my eyebrows this is called a Maybelline Superstay, and it's a multi-use foundation stick. Um, 
and it's supposed to be a full coverage. Now, you know, I love Wet n' Wild foundation sticks, and so I bought this thinking that, you know, it was going to be even better than uh, Wet n' Wild because it's Maybelline. It is so dry and matte. I'm going to show you all the finish that it has. I'm going to turn this around and just let you see it. But it's such a dry finish that um, I'm not going to be able to use it at all. Now, this one is a darker color. It's too dark for me. We'll put it right here. And um, they come with a... The only way you could ever use this is if you were so young and oily skinned. And it might do good on you. All right. And then this is the lighter color. I don't like it at all. I'm going back to Dollar General and getting my Wet n' Wild. And there's the lighter. Now, when I put on makeup, I'll show you what I do. What I need is Amy putting on my makeup, but she's a makeup queen. She needs to do it on, on YouTube, for real. But when I put on my makeup, I put the light color here. Of course, here. Especially, my nose is really too little for my face. But if you've got a nose that's the least bit big, you definitely want to highlight the top of it. Okay? Highlight underneath your eyes always, the older you get. Then I actually highlight above my lips a little and down here. And you always want to put a lighter foundation in those areas. And then come back with a foundation that matches your skin around the areas. So you're going to blend these. Um, and I don't want to get these in my hair color, but you get the picture. But this stuff is so dry that by the time I want to come back and blend it, I can't even hardly, like, blend it. That's how dry this is. So, like, if you have really, really oily skin, you could use it. It's a matte, of course. But it makes me look like a doggone, uh, like I got on a mask or something. So ugly on me. I don't like it at all. Anyway, lessons learned, right? I have no idea what time it is. So I gotta go uh, look at my clock. I'm, I'm gonna wear my glasses. I always wear my glasses, and then I just take the soap and water, and I and I wash the ends of them off because I cannot go 45 minutes without being able to see what I'm doing. I just can't. But look at how dry, dry my lips are. Y'all got any tips for that? My lips are so dry, and I've never even smoked. But I tell you what, I have done. Drank through a straw my whole life. Um. So, I'm going to show y'all what I put on my lips. If I didn't use this on my lips, I would be so ugly with lipstick on. No kidding. It climbs up my lines so fast that it's crazy. I bought three different brands, okay? Um, Ulta has a lip primer. And it's cheap. It's about 10 bucks, and it's not worth a flip. I'll just go ahead and tell you, don't spend your money on it. Go ahead and pay the 20 bucks and get MAC Lip Primer. If you're not going to get MAC, get Mary Kay Lip Primer. It comes in a tube like this as well, except it's pink. If you don't get MAC or Mary Kay, it's not going to work. And it has to be these, okay? Um... Well, this says Rosebud Save. I say save, and my kids have always made fun of me. Now look, I put this around my lip. And I rub it in. It's like conditioner, really. But the cool part about it is after it dries, it's more, it feels like conditioner. But after it dries, it's more almost like a wax. So, what happens is when you go to line your lips, like, here's a lip liner, and this is an Ulta Beauty. I, the only lip liner I like, period, is Revlon Colorstay. My sister's trying to call me. 
All right. So then when you line your lips, I always, see how thin my lips are? They're just like my mama's. And Amy has thin lips like me. May has these beautiful, luscious lips like Chris. But um, we have thin lips. So when I, when I line my lips, I go right at the edge. Mama always did too. I go over it a little. Heck, why not? And then I use the liner and I go in the corner. And I leave this part a little lighter because it makes them appear a little bigger. And then I do the top. This is a lighter color than I like. This is a, a I like dark lip liner, y'all. I don't like for it to be so dark that it makes your teeth look yellow, if you know what I mean. Mama wore red my whole life. Red, red, red. I bought this the other day, this lipstick, and I really like it. It is a um, off brand that I got. It's called Tutu. T U T U. This is a light color. But the good thing about using the lip liner in that lip primer, y'all, I can go all day. And my lips do not bleed up into my face. And that's a big deal for me. I use moisturizer at night. Um, I have some of this. That's Mary Kay for dry skin. It's the Real Deep Moisture Intense Moisturizing Cream. I have such dry skin that my skin soaks it up like it's, I don't know what. And um, I moisturize, but I'm just dry. My hands are so dry, for one, I cook all the time, but my hands are so dry, and you can see how they look kind of, um, but they're so dry that my phone will never identify who I am by my fingerprint unless I put on lotion because it can't read my fingerprint because my, my, my fingertips are so wilted and dried, and that's just how my skin is. I'm just very dry. Amy's the same way. Um, and May and her daddy have beautiful skin, soft feet. Me and Amy have to get out our emojis. I can show y'all that right quick. That's what I'll do. Y'all, I have not cleaned my house. So just chill when you see it. How's that? Y'all are my friends. All right. Get ready to see Tammy's dirty house. We had an appointment in Rome this morning. We still have not finished unpacking. There's me and Chris. Okay. I want to show y'all this. Something's burning in here. Something's burning in my kitchen. I smell it burning. that smell? It smells just like plastic burning. And I don't see nothing. Okay. I want y'all to see this. Let me get it out. I keep it in here. And my girls know where it is, so sometimes they come up here and get it. But I keep it, I have this thing hanging in my, on my door, in my door closet. And I keep drop cords, trash bags, and my emoji. And if y'all have never had one of these, get ready, because this is amazing. I'm going to show you how it works, and then I'm going to let y'all go. 
and I need to take you out somewhere where y'all can see better because my living room is dark. Let's see. I don't really want to do this in my kitchen. Let's go back to the bathroom. How's that? I may make, may more, make more sense. My sister comes tomorrow and I got a lot of picking up to do because she's cleaning the house and she is not going to want to clean my house until I pick up all this mess. It was picked up last night. It only takes, no kidding, 24 hours for it to look like this. Y'all know. Y'all know all about it. All right. I'm going to show you how this thing works. Let me take off my shoe. Y'all about to see my ugly feet. Now, I got this years and years ago. They come battery operated and they come with a plug. If you get one, make sure you get one that has a, an extension cord and it actually plugs into the wall because if you don't, it's not as powerful and you go through too many batteries. This cleans your feet. Now, I know you can get them all day long at the store. I have no idea what they're like, but this is the original. It is powerful, it doesn't lag, and it does an amazing job. But Amy and I both have really, really dry feet. I think part of that's our, she'll probably take after like mama. Mama has scleroderma, which is a form of lupus. And it does cause dry hands and feet. And that's probably one reason my hands are as dry as they are and my fingerprints don't want to be identified. Um, it's not as bad as scleroderma, uh, but it's in the same family. Scleroderma people actually, it draws on their hands and their face, and they actually die pretty young, lots of them. Um, but it is one of those autoimmune things that we're just blessed with. So I'm going to show you how this works, y'all. Get ready. I'm going to pull this down so y'all can see good. And yes, this is a foot thing, but good Lord, this is... To show y'all how it works. I'm trying to think. Can y'all see my foot? I think you can. I have to make sure y'all can see. No. That's not going to work. It's going to tell me that. I guess I'm going to have to hold it up like this. Watch this. Alright, see my dry feet. Now watch this. The craziest thing with my feet is how dry the sides, not just the, the bottom of my feet is. Let me put in a new one. I want to put in a new one. Got some new ones. Where are they? I keep them in my drawer. But anyway, it's not how just dry this part of my foot is. I don't know why I'm getting all these notifications. But it's crazy how dry, just like my, my foot is in general. But you'll see. It just, it just peels it right off. And at night, when Chris is watching ball games and stuff, I like to just sit and clean my feet. But you can kind of see how it works. It's crazy. Some people probably think this is gross. I think it's the coolest thing in the world. Isn't that cool? And like where you get those little places from your sandals, it just gets it, takes it right off. If I got this out and used it on Chris, he wouldn't have any dead skin on his feet because he's so oily. I'm telling you, he wouldn't. And he's never done it before. I do this regularly and I still have dry skin. And most of the time my foot's really dry on this side. See how it just falls off? It's crazy. But anyway, I can't hold my leg up like that. I'm old. Y'all know I'm old. I can't just act like I'm a teenager anymore. Because I ain't. I'm younger than some of y'all, but I'm older than some of y'all too. 
And remember, chemo ages you 10 years, and I believe it. All right, I'm going to hop. So that would make me about 60, which I think is about right for me. Whoa. I am going to hop in the shower in a minute, fix my hair, and come back and see you guys. I hope you've enjoyed my crazy uh, fun time at home. Um, and I'll see you next time when my hair is all pretty. I may just uh, come in and show you uh, me taking my rollers out of my hair. And then that will be the end of this. And then I'll probably try to come on live, hopefully, and do some Halloween cookies. I made some of my mama's tea cakes. And I've got some cutouts. And we're going to ice them and um, do that in a few minutes. So I'll have my red hair then. Uh, and, of course, that will be Color Valley Cooks. But I'll see you in a little while. Love you.